Okay, so another probability question. Um, we haven't really written it out, but this question is asking us, what is the probability of drawing exactly two hearts from a normal deck and every time we draw, a card is replaced, okay? So we're going to use the word or the letter R for replacement because that's important for us. And we know that a normal deck has 52 cards. So because it's replaced every single time, every time we draw, we're tactically drawing out of 52, okay? So all of these draws are out of 52 because the card is replaced every single time. It's put back in the deck, okay? And they want us to draw exactly two hearts. Well, when calculating these probabilities, because it's multiplication, okay, between all of these ideas, there's a rule of multiplication where it doesn't tactically matter what order we multiply things in. So in other words, I can not draw a heart, not draw a heart, draw a heart, draw a heart, or I can not, and then I do, not, and then I do. Either way, our probabilities are still going to work the same because we're multiplying. It doesn't matter which matter order we multiply it. So what we'll do to keep it simple is we'll say that in the first two we do draw, so we'll have success, we'll take those two hearts, and then the next two draws will be unsuccessful, okay? So how many hearts are there in a deck of 52? 13. That's right, so we have 13. And then it's replaced, so this is a successful one, okay? And then the next one we're going to say are successful again, so what's the probability of again drawing another heart? 13. Yeah. Now, this is a little harder. These two are unsuccessful for us. Okay? The probability of being unsuccessful. Uh -oh. Give me a sec. What's the probability of being unsuccessful? Do you know how to calculate that? <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to pause this. Okay. So the probability of not being successful. Okay, so what we're going to do in this case um, to figure out this probability is we're actually going to say, well, we know there's 13 cards that are hearts in a deck, and a total deck has 52. Okay, So we're going to subtract these two values. And we subtract those two values. What that tells us is how many cards are not hearts. And in this case, that ends up being, we borrow, 9, 39. So apparently there are 39 out of a total of 52 cards that are not hearts. So our probability of not drawing a heart, so being unsuccessful, is 39 in 52. And we repeat the same thing because it's replaced. Again, we're 39 in 52. Now, all of these values are a bit awkward uh, to multiply across. We can reduce all of these fractions. And what we'll do is um, and we'll get the same answer in the end. I'll show you another way we could have thought of this idea. How many different suits are there in a, um, in a deck? Four. There's four suits. And I'm just going to move this, this map to the side here. Okay. So in other words, to draw a heart, what are the probability of drawing a heart out of the suits? If there's four total suits, one of the suits is a heart, right? So you have a one in four chance. And if you reduce these fractions, if you divide them by 13, you end up with this number, 1 and 4. So I'm just simplifying now. Technically, this is enough work. We could have multiplied and got it. But I'm going to try to do, reduce it as much as possible. Okay. Same idea again. To be successful would be to draw 1 and 4. So that's two probabilities in a row. What about being unsuccessful? How many of the suits are not hearts? 3 and 4. That's right, which is a 3 and 4. And then being unsuccessful again is 3 and 4. These are a lot simpler to multiply. In fact, if we multiply the top across, we know our top number is 9. Our bottom number ends up being 16, 64, and I don't know what it is to the fourth. So I'll take the calculator out. 4, 4 times. 4 to the power of 4, 256. 2, 5, 6. Um, can that be reduced? I'm just going to check. 2, 5, 6 can I divide it by 9. Uh, 2, 5, 6 divided by 3. Nope. Okay. So this is essentially our reduction. I think this is what they end up getting here. Um, 8 and 208. Let's take a look at what they did there.